I swear. White plants. Now, how do you even think you can make a winter wonderland? Yes, but if you add grass into that bunch and you paint all of your plants white. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a very, very, very opinionated one. I would ask you to respect my opinion as I respect yours. This is just how I feel about it and how I perceive the style of aesthetic houses. And this is basically what I think of it. I could be wrong about it. You could like an aesthetic house or even have one and build one and just do YouTube and make aesthetic houses and really, really love that style. But it's not something for me, so I respect that. You do that, so I hope you respect my opinion on, on the matter, but I just wanted to share it with you for a minute. So the first thing that I'm going to get into for the aesthetic house styles, which is one of the main reasons that I don't really like aesthetic quote-unquote houses, is that aesthetic is not a style. Style. You can have an aesthetic, you can build something that has an aesthetic, but there is no such thing as aesthetic. It's not like industrial house or colonial house. There is no such thing as aesthetic house. So aesthetic means concerned with beauty or the appreciation of beauty, which basically means that you care about how beautiful your house looks or you want to have an aesthetic to how your house looks. And that is not at all what became of like the aesthetic builders in Bloxburg. There is such thing as like aesthetic in Bloxburg is linked to white houses, white family houses favorably, but that's not really a style. Like you can have a completely different style and it can still have an aesthetic. For example, Rusty Pluviem, he built crazy, crazy houses and they have a very nice aesthetic, but they are not the Bloxburg aesthetic style. And that's what triggers me so much sometimes that people think that aesthetic is all white things with some color somewhere so they can call it blush aesthetic house, but that is not it. Aesthetic is just a way to say that it has some beauty around it and not some style. <laughs> Then the second thing I would like to touch on is that aesthetic houses in Bloxburg have this color scheme and gosh, like not everything has to be institutional white. I will put a picture of an all white house in real life on the screen and you can judge if that looks as nice as in Bloxburg. <laughs> but yes, so the color scheme of aesthetic houses and like what I've seen from it is all white and then they add just one other color to it so that they can call it a blush or pink aesthetic or green aesthetic but only the cushions are like green or they have a green carpet in the house like not all aesthetic builders are like that of course but like I'm, I'm talking generally and how I feel about it and that's how I feel like if I see an aesthetic house usually even the bricks are white and everything is just white and then there is one color added to that which makes it look a little bit different but it's like also a very light color. They never go for these flashy reds or blues or whatever. It's always a color that is very pastel -y and very close to white or a lot of white mixed into it. So it's still very close to that white color that we are used to seeing with aesthetic Bloxburg houses. Then the next thing, I swear, white plants. Now, how do you even think, like, okay, the rocks that you put around your house, yes, they can be white, depending on where you live or what the aesthetic is you are going for with your house, but white plants? You can make a winter wonderland, yes, but if you add grass into that bunch and you paint all of your plants white, I feel like that is just being a bit lazy, maybe, and just painting your plants white, it triggers me so much, like, even the trees and the trees tops are painted white or blush even and I just don't get it how like whoever thought of painting their plants white to make it go with the style of their house have you ever walked across the street and suddenly you saw a house and all of the plants are just plain white <laughs> and the trees as well. I've never seen that and I hope if you did that you took pictures so you can send them to me but I have never ever seen that. Then the next thing, the aesthetic houses are just not 
cozy. So if you use white a lot and you like that, that's okay, but it is not at all cozy. So to add some coziness to your house, you can always add some warm colors. You should look up what warm and cold colors are. It's basically how the color is mixed and how you perceive it. But warm colors really add a touch of coziness to your house. Also the materials, so to create a warmer environment, you don't have to use the plastic or the wood all the time. Soft materials like carpet and leather, for example, even, and some darker woods can create a warmer vibe throughout the house. So if you have a lot of white in your house, it will be perceived as cold and not cozy. And that is not how you want your house to be, or at least how I want my house to be. So if you use white a lot, you definitely need to try and get some darker flooring in or some accent color throughout your house that can be perceived as cozy for example a darker red like if you have an all white house and then you have a green kitchen that would be a pop but it will also create something homey more so that your house feels more like a home and not a dentist's office. If you like to build aesthetic looking homes or whatever the style is perceived that, then I would strongly recommend using some warmer colors into the house just to create the more homey and cozy feel that a lot of homes have and that make it feel like a home. And then another thing, and I'm, I'm gonna get so much hate for yeah, but I'm just ranting now and just le let me rant. And I'm gonna be fine in the end and this is just my opinion but yes I feel like a lot of the aesthetic homes as I said before are family homes or classic homes but I also feel like a lot of them look completely the same. I've seen a few videos on aesthetic homes and a few houses in Bloxburg as well and I feel like all of them kind of look the same so I'm always wondering whether they looked up White House on Pinterest and all of them just took the top recommended <laughs> posts or what happened there or is everyone copying just everyone and not even thinking about a house shape. I really wonder what's going on there. <laughs> I feel like everyone is just taking the top recommended picture on Pinterest and using that in their build. You can do that if you like it but it's just something I see a lot. Like if I see an aesthetic home it's usually that same shape with the door on the side and then a little nook that comes out with a window inside it and a garage on the side or even a detached garage but you see them less and less. I don't know, so a lot of these houses kind of look the same and it's kind of weird to me. I don't know how to put it really but this is how I feel about it. And then the final thing I would like to talk about is the naming of the houses. So it's a little better now but I still feel like the naming of the Aesthetic style, it's not a style, but yes, blush aesthetic home, blush Tudor aesthetic home, blush classic aesthetic home. The editing of the thumbnails is always a written font that goes over a type font. No one ever differentiates in aesthetic thumbnails. It's always a bit of sun coming from the top and then you got the white house. And then on the bottom left, there is this written font. That's what I see all the time. I built this house throughout this video. I wanted to create an aesthetic looking house so I went on Pinterest and I just took a picture and built from that. So if you want to copy it that's completely fine. I will walk around it. And yes this roof I built before I added the wall so it's coming right through there. That looks amazing. So these are the white plants that we talked about. We have the white car and the white porch and then this is the backyard. Didn't add a lot of stuff in here but I feel like this is what aesthetic goes for and the very bright lighting inside we didn't talk about lighting but yes I feel like in aesthetic houses the lighting is just so bright that you can't really have a normal experience in the house can I actually jump over this fence no I cannot <laughs> So this is the front of the house, just wanted to create a family looking house with a little porch on the front and then the backyard and then caved in with lighter grass than the grass that is used in Bloxburg. But yes, this is the house. I will go in build mode so that you can see the grid if you want to copy this. But I did nothing inside so you are free to do what you want on the inside. This is the first floor. So if you want to uh, just copy this, I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see the squares a little bit better. And then the second floor looks like this. 
Oh, it's so bright, you guys. <laughs> and there we go. That's enough ranting for one day. I hope you enjoyed this video. You don't have to share my opinion at all. This was just my opinion, and I just wanted to share why I don't build aesthetic houses in Bloxburg. But if you like them, that's completely fine. Like, I don't hate this at all. It's just I would pick different colors, different materials, and just do my own thing with it instead of painting everything white. But that is completely up to you. So that was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching hit that like button and please subscribe.